Hello everybody, this is Donnie with uh, Ships of Scale and I'm going to try to do this very quick uh, tutorial and hopefully I will not get off into wandering about things. Hopefully I can keep my mind track on what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started. We have an image here. This is a native image straight out of the camera. In this particular situation, this image is 4,608 pixels wide by 3,456 pixels tall. The information is right here in the bottom of the screen, or in this case, I'm using Corel Paint Shop Pro X9. I know that not everybody has this particular software, but I'm just using this just to demonstrate something. We go to image information. We will see that this is the physical dimensions of the image. 4608 by 3456 pixels. By the way, pixels is short for picture elements. They just truncated the two words together. There's something else very important a lot of people overlook and that is the image file size. This is what's actually consuming the file space on your computer. Yes, we have the image size, the physical size, but this is what's important right here. And when it comes to forums, the way we have the ships of scale set up, both of these values are both important because I have the forum set up to where the maximum width and height of the image is a thousand by five thousand and the maximum disk space the file size is 350k now 350k is very generous because I usually compress my images down to 60k and I usually make my physical image size about 800 by 600. I have found that that is a a nice viewable image. It doesn't consume a lot of server space. So I'm just using this program just to show you what's going on here. Now I'm also going to show you that if I resize this image to 800 by 600 that it's not going to reduce the file size enough. So let's just do this little exercise. We're going to go to image, resize, the width is 800, the height is 600. That's a value that I have already previously been working with. I go to OK. And in order to make this valid, I'm going to go to File, Save As, make sure with the JPEG extension, and I want to make this a subscore. Hopefully it will show up at the top of the list and a dash 2. Okay, now let's look at our image information and see what it says. Okay, the image has been resized to a physical dimension of 800 by 600 pixels, picture elements. The file size, the image file size is now 606k. That's going to have to be reduced by 50%. So we're still outside the ballpark. You say, well, my image is 800 by 600. That's well below 1,000 by 5,000. Yes, that's true. But the other component of this is that the image file size how much is taking up space on the server has to be reduced or the word is compress squeeze it down okay so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go back as image 2551 I'm going to go back to this native image just like it was before I started resizing it, etc. And now we're going to pick up with the image compressor online. So go here 
and the name of this site is compressimage.toolur.com and I wrote down the uh, address so that you can see uh, this a little bit bigger http colon slash slash compressimage.toolur.com okay you got that wrote down if not you can come back and look at the video again okay when you load up this particular website these two values the width and the height are going to be blank here's what you're concerned with you want to leave these default selections just like it is when you first load the site the compression method is the letter C I'm not going to get into what they mean by that the image quality is 90 percent that's good that's going to give you a lot of good resolution resolution just means you're going to have a crisp clean image the compression type is normal okay we're going to compress we're not going to resize but we are actually going to resize the image but we're just not going to click on this particular button okay so let's go ahead and we're going to upload our image click upload and now we're going to go find it and I believe we do not have to use the same one okay now we found the one that I was working with is down here at the bottom so let's do something real quick before we open this you can right click this and go to properties you can look at the details you can see it is 4608 by 3456 scroll down here we'll look at the the size is 6.76 meg it's huge okay select it we want to open it you see the progress bar it says you can compress and resize your images now this first step it just uploaded the image that is all that it has done for now so we need to compress it and we need to resize it we didn't use our software here to do that we're going to use this program so right here under width we're going to put 800 and the height let's put 600 that's just the value that I'm used to okay we're going to do compress images do not resize it do not PDF to JPEG do not web proxy compress image button because it's going to do everything automatically for you and it will allow you to download it and hopefully this program will not give us a zipped file and here we go alright says it successfully compressed from 6.8 meg down to 126.8 K that is fantastic see the difference we went from almost 7 meg down to 126 so that is a huge amount of uh, compression so here we can go ahead and download it and here's our image same thing it didn't ask for a zipped version of that which is great we're going to do save file do not do open with there's no need to do open with go ahead and save the file okay in this case we'll go ahead and we'll just save it to the desktop and I'm going to just put uh, a dash and I'm going to put resize I want to make sure that this says JPEG image here to make sure so we typed in resize to our desktop and we saved it 
Okay, now we can take this a step further. And let's go back to our uh, image program. Open. Desktop. Here's our image. I saved it to the desktop. Remember, it was IMG subscore 2551 dash resize. We open it up. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and look at our image information. It says 800 by 600 physical pixels width by the height. And let's look at our image file size. This is the amount of file space that is being taken up on your computer or how much file space is being taken up on a server. Okay, namely ships of scale server. Okay. Now in case you don't have that, you can also go to open and let's find the file again. And this time we're going to right click and go to properties. Go to details. It shows 800 by 600 and come on down and it will show the file size 126k that's another way of doing that okay so we got that on the desktop and we're going to go ahead and let's uh, let's open up our forum I'm signed in as, as myself and uh, let's come down here. We're going to test our upload. It's going to test your post here. And by the way, I did install this uh, M Chat. It's a pretty good um, utility for people to want to get into a chat uh, session. Let's go ahead and do a test post here. Okay, we're going to do a new topic. Now we're just going to do uh, test resize, and I'm just going to copy and paste I just did type resize for upload compress image dot tool ur dot com and we're going to click on the attachments we're going to click on the add files go to the desktop where I temporarily saved that and here it is image 255 dash resize it also tells me what the file size here is and it immediately file name here's the size 127k which is excellent because it's well below the uh, maximum amount. You can place this image in line and you can delete it but here we just want to go ahead and click submit and there's the image. That is a hundred by six hundred. Anyway that is all. If particular reason you don't like that uh, obviously you can go to uh, edit the post you can delete the post let's say you want to edit that come back to attachments and we can delete the file if we want to and we can submit you'll see that there's no image okay and if you don't even like that we can just do delete post reason for deletion you don't have to put anything here and yes, we want to just go ahead and delete the post. And that is all that there is to this, this online image compressor. There's no need to download any sophisticated software. And I certainly hope that this helps some people with their image compression. Thank you very much, and goodbye.